Hello, everybody. Welcome to Citizens Bank Park. Welcome to Phillies Baseball. And tonight, the Phillies host the Milwaukee Brewers. Hello, Brian Z with you for another edition of Phillies Baseball on the Video Game Network. Now taking the field, welcome your 2015 Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies were down 9 1. And last night's ball game nearly came back and tied it. Adrian Beltre hit two home runs. The Brewers won that game 9 8, won the other game 10 6. Phillies look to get back on the winning track here tonight against the Brewers. This is the Brewers' starting lineup, as you see. And they will go up against Ethan Martin, who is 6-4, a 3.57 ERA in 12 games, 70 and two-thirds, 56 hits, 24 walks, and 83 strikeouts. He does strike out a lot. And Scooter Jeanette will lead it off for the Brewers. He's batting at 286 with seven home runs, 33 RBIs. And off and running in the first pitch is inside for a ball. One ball and no strikes. First pitch, 7-0-7. Phillies would love to get some innings in from Ethan Martin. 75 degrees at game time. Back through the middle as a base hit in the center field. Okay, okay, rattled. Batting second here tonight. The right fielder, number three, dealing on Herrera. And I'll bring up Elion Herrera. He's 5 for 25. He's been at 268, three home runs, nine RBIs. They had a bunt, nice bunt. Picked up by Perez and barely gets Herrera. The sacrifice is good. Jeanette at second base and one out. It's Jonathan Lucroy. He has two home runs in this series and a double. Ball and no strikes. He's at foul one and one. Foul, one ball and two strikes. Two and two to count. First strike off for Martin, one down here in the first. And it'll bring up Chris Davis, betting at 248, 10 home runs, 35 RBIs. Well, Ethan Martin would like to have a scoreless inning. Uh -huh. 
The problem with the Phillies is they have gotten behind in the last couple of games. Knowing that they were able to come back in last night's game, but they were still got behind 9-1. No and they really have to keep their opposition to a minimum run because the Phillies have been scoring runs in games, but they haven't been winning them because they've been giving up so many runs. Two and one to count. I talked to Ryan Sandberg, and he says that the team is very surprised that the team is in first place, but he said the team could play a whole lot better and the starting pitching has to do a good job. And Chris Davis hammers this one to left field. And this is what we were talking about. Getting off to a good start. And Chris Davis slaps a two-run homer here in the top of the first. And it's already 2-0 Milwaukee. That is Davis' 11th home run of the year. And he crushed that one. Take a look at this one. This one was right down the heart of the plate. And Davis just slapped it out of the ballpark. Way up into the stands. Here's Adam Lynn. Two outs, nobody on. The Brewers with a 2 nothing lead. That pitch is in for a strike. Tomorrow's game will be 6.35 because of fireworks night. Game will start a half hour early. And that one is hit foul, no balls and two strikes. Bounced up there one and two. Two balls. Inside, two balls and two strikes. Oh. Brewers are in first place in the NL Central. This will be a big boost to them if they can sweep the Phillies. Now the full count. Aramis Ramirez waiting on deck. Yeah. And this is a base hit the right field. Adam Lynn is on first with two outs and will bring up Aramis Ramirez. Batting six, third baseman number 16, Aramis Ramirez. You take a look at the pitch sequence. Fallon pitches off, pitch inside, and he fouled it off again. Another pitch inside, and then right, another foul, and high. And this was eight pitches he threw. And Adam Lynn gets a base hit. Here's Ramirez. Ball one. And ball and no strikes. Ramirez betting at 250 with 11 home runs. Hit the deep set of field and Ben Revere puts it away. That'll retire the Brewers. But Chris Davis, a two run homer in the top of the first, puts the Brewers up two to nothing as the Phillies begin the bet for the first time.
Well, there's the Phillies lineup. Brandon Jordan expected to be out a couple more days. He'll probably return in the Braves series. And Arnold will probably head back down to Triple A. He has done a good job since he's been up here. And he says he is going to make the best of it as Jimmy Nelson takes the mound. You see his numbers 74 strikeouts. He's 6 and 7. Ben Rivera will lead off in this series. He's four for nine. In two games. And Rivera hits this on the right side. Nice play by the second baseman. And Rivera's thrown out. One out on the first pitch. Bring up Chase Utley. Utley is batting at 297. He enters the game with a 15-game hitting streak. And he extends it to 16. As Chase Utley gets a base hit in the center field. Chase Darnold. Betting at 256 and two RBIs. That ball's hit in the left field and is going to go foul into the stands. The ball's a one strike. All in one strike. After this series, Phillies will go to Atlanta, Los Angeles, then San Francisco. So a huge road trip coming up. In the air to center field. It is pretty well hit, but it'll be caught by Parar. And that is two down here. In the first. Batting fourth, first baseman, Ryan. To bring up Ryan Howard. Howard batting at 161, nine home runs, 31 RBIs. is two for 16 in his last four. The ball in no strike. Ground ball to the pitcher. Fires over the first for the out. We go to the second. Phillies leave one. Brewers lead two nothing. Here's Gerald Parra batting at 234. Center field number 28, Gerardo Parra. Gerardo Parra. And Hara lines this one foul. Nope. Nope. Oh, two. No balls and two strikes. Side one and two. One ball. two Woo! Second strikeout for Martin. 
And it'll bring up Lewis Sardinas, who's batting at 263, one home run, and nine RBIs. Side for a ball, one ball and no strikes. Come on. Two and nothing to count. It fouls two balls and one strike. Piece of ball foul, it's still two and two. And a foul, two balls and two strikes. Another foul. And a third base side. Count now, Jimmy Nelson waiting on deck. Come on, let's get the out here. Least the ball foul, three balls and two strikes still. He went, and he struck out. Third strikeout for Martin is two down, and it'll bring up Jimmy Nelson. Jimmy Nelson. Went all the way there on that swing. And pitches outside, one ball and no strike. Slides ball, right field. Darnold puts it away, and that'll retire the Brewers here in the second inning. We're going to the bottom of the second, 2 nothing Milwaukee. It's Adrian Beltre, 11 for 22 in his last five. He homered twice in last night's ball game. Counted for four RBIs. And Beltre continues his, his hot streak. He gets a base hit in the center field. He is a leadoff base runner here in the second inning. He'll bring up Salvador Perez. Perez batting at 261. Seven home runs, 54 RBIs. He leads the Phillies in RBIs. When he gets up the bat, he's more than likely to drive in runs with runners on base. One ball and no strikes. Perez, a base hit. Phillies have their first two men on base here in the bottom of the second. Bring up Mikel Franco. Franco batting at 303. And now the Phillies with a good chance of driving RBIs. Franco had a chance to win the ball game, or at least tie it last night. And he ground into a surprising double play. On the 
great play by Ramirez to throw him at third base. Just got Franco. And the Brewers end up winning it by the score of 98 there. Now was one ball and one strike on Franco. And he couldn't hang on. He couldn't hang up on that swing. It's one ball and two strikes. Got to drive in runs when you have the opportunity to. Fly ball, right field. And Herrera will put it away. Beltre will round second, go to third. The throw is way off. Beltre's at third. First and third and one out. And here is Xavier Paul. Paul batting at 281. Eight home runs, 22 RBIs. Balls and one strike. One and one. Two balls and one strike. Full count, no, three and one, excuse me. Ethan Martin waits on deck. One out, two on. And that is ripped foul down the first base side. Another foul down the first base side. So Paul staying alive here. Still a full count. And the gap to right field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Beltre score. Perez will go to third. Here's the throw. Not in time. Paul at second. They'll give him a double out of that. And it's now a two to one ball game. It was ripped in the gap. And a nice run by Parara to keep that ball from going to the wall. It's a two to one ball game and here comes Ethan Martin. That is Paul's sixth double of the season. Really is looking to do some damage here in the second inning. Here's Ethan Martin trying to see if he can get a hit or something here. Here we go now, Bill. A ball and no strike. Side to Martin. I don't think he meant to do that. It's two balls and one strike. Come on, Foul two and two. Broken bat play. Did he get him? Yes. The runners won't advance. Perez stays at third. So 
Well, they did not want to take a chance. I, I'm thinking Perez could have scored on that play. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't take a chance and run home. He could have scored easily. Because Nelson was not thinking about going to home plate. They were going to concede the tie and run. Here's a bear. He takes a strike. There, hits this one to left field, and it is caught by Davis. That'll win the inning. Phillies do get a run in the inning. On three hits. They leave two, we go to the third, it's two to one. Milwaukee. Scooter Jeanette will lead it off here in the third inning. Two to one Brewers. Scooter Jeanette. No. Ball and no strikes. Oh, we'd like to remind you that this month in July, 20 straight games of Phillies baseball will be on the video game network. Me and Matt Vaskersian, or I will have the calls of those games. Pass Franco in the center field for a base hit. That's Jeanette's second hit of the game. So he has a leadoff base one. Franco almost got to this ball. But as I was saying, 20 straight games here on the video game network. Some games I will not be commentating on. So just a little side note there, but most some games I will be calling. No balls and one strike. 20 straight games in July of Phillies baseball. All here on the video game network. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike. Come on, that was a strike. Beats it foul, one and one. Two and two. Two and two to count. Jonathan Lucroy. Takes a strike. No ball. One strike. Oh, two. Oh, and two to count. Two strikes. He's a foul, one and two. He's going to steal, I'm telling you. Two balls, two strikes. This is low. Martin has thrown 50 pitches so far in the third inning. Second, they get the tag at first somehow. But it's two out. They go to this one again. He got the ground ball. He tagged him. Threw over the second. Wasn't going to get the play at second. 
Here's Chris Davis, who hit a two-run home run in the first inning. A ball and no strikes. center field that's a base hit edging that rounding third he's gonna try to score and he does and it's three to one Milwaukee here in the third inning so Chris Davis has knocked in all three Brewer runs and he'll bring up Adam Lynn who's one for one RBIs this season for Davis. One and one. A ball and one strike. One ball, one ball and two yeah. strikes now. Bounces, they're gonna go to second. Ball gets in the center field. Davis is gonna try to go to third. That seems like a good throw. But the ball bounced off and Adrian Belcher had to get off a third base bag. It seemed from here like a good throw. A wild pitch and a throwing error. Franco just missed it. And Ben Rivera had a chance to throw out Davis. But the ball bounced. It looked like a good throw from here. And the ball just bounced. They'll score the wild pitch. Ground ball hammer to deep center field. And this ball is caught in front of the fence. Got to retire the Brewers. They do get a run. On the head. We go to the bottom of the third. Three to one, Milwaukee. Third inning. Chase Utley will lead off the third. He extended his hitting streak with a single his first time up. His ball bounces up there. One ball and no strike. Boy, boy. At least hit. Ali will take first. He is hit by a pitch. And a bit of chase starting off. strike. Ooh. 
One and two. Bounced up dead, two balls and two strikes. Okay. Full count now, Ryan Howard waits on deck. Donald strikes out, and that is one down to bring up Ryan Howard. He was kind of late on that swing. Had no chance to catch up to that one. Here's Howard with one out and the runner on first. He couldn't hold up there. There's one strike. Two strikes on Howard. I one and two. Still one ball and two strikes. Come on now, Phil. Inside, ball two. Inside, two balls and two strikes. Here we go. Three balls, two strikes. Well, count down to Howard with Beltray waiting on deck. Howard strikes out, and he'll bring up Adrian Beltre. Did not catch up with that one. Beltre singled his first time up. One and no. Talked to Beltre last night. He said he got his swing back. He said he was struggling at the plate. Now he thinks he got his swing back, and he sends this one to right field. Can't get it. Ball bounces out the wall. One run is going to score. The throw home. Oh, no, he's not going to score. He is not going to score as Utley is thrown out. My apologies for that. Phillies get thrown out at the plate. Matt Fasturgeon will have to call a third. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. This is a pretty simple play for a catcher right here. It's a nice pitch, and it looks like he might have chopped it right down off a home plate. You can see the catcher get out of his crouch, take it on one big hop, and then just make the good strong throw to first to get him easily. In is Gerardo Parra. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. And now pitch on the way. 0-2 pitch, swung on and hit in the air after straightaway left. 
will take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Well, he gets you out there, but he's not missing many bats right now. The guys are really putting together some good swings against him so far. Luis Sardinius will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. First pitch coming. Uh, and he got him to swing early as this is skied out toward right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee, but they hang on to a three to one lead. Salvador Perez will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now the first pitch. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. One-zero pitch now. And he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Two-zero oh on the way. Fouled back. Two-one. Now a hard liner toward short. No problem here, one away. Michael Franco will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on the way. And that's in there for strike one. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Here's the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he's tracking that all the way across the plate, but that had too much sweep to it for him to think of swinging. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Here's the one-one pitch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Ready with the two one. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And with the tying run in the on deck circle, the question does he take a look at another one here? He just might. You're still going to see a good pitch on three and two, even if this one's a strike. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Xavier Paul will step forward now following the walk as he'll hit with a definite speed threat at first and one away. You can bet he's going to see some fastballs in this at-bat. I'd be looking dead red. After the walk, a quick check on first. But the runners back easily. First offering on the way. No Not even I'm close right. on that swing. No balls and a strike. And you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hey. Oh, and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. He seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch. Well, you got to remember the slide step does two things for you. It gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out, or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all. From the belt, the pitch. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. But now, I might anticipate another slider down in the zone, maybe even in the dirt. The one, two. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Here's another one, too. 
Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Uh, and this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and they found one there. Standing in now, Ethan Martin, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Probably not a steal situation here with the pitcher at the plate. You want that pitcher to hit. You don't want to risk getting thrown out and forcing him to lead off the next inning. 1 0 on the way. 2 0 now. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. But you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3 0 to him. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Now the 2 1 pitch. And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Davis is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One left for Philadelphia. Gore holds its three to one. Jimmy Nelson will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. The pitcher number 52, Jimmy Nelson. Now here's the first pitch. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Pitch on the way. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The boys, that's 99 right through him. The pitch. In under the hands with a fastball, it's one and two. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. Well, that was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Now the pitch. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. Here's the two and two home. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Now another two two. Full count, three and two. The 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. Scooter Jeanette will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. Now here's the first pitch. Outside with the fastball, it's 1 and 0. Hits are even right now at 5 aside. Now the 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 and 0. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2 and 0. The 2-0 on the way. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Utley at second. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Elian Herrera will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time.
first pitch coming. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Here's the 1 0. Another fastball. This one he gets by him. It's 1 and 1. And sometimes you got to cut down a little stride against a guy who's throwing this hard. Either you take that leg kick completely out of the equation, or you get it started just a little bit quicker. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And a full count as that misses. It's 3-2 and two now. Yeah, and that's not the pitch you want to throw on 2-2. Two and two. I mean, that was so high, he didn't even have to think about swinging at it. 3-2, here it comes. Now a big swing, and this is a major league pop-up. Way up there toward the center of the diamond. And Sally will make the play here to retire the side. Gone in order of the Brewers, as the lead remains 3-1. Ben Revere will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Ramirez is there, and it takes just one pitch to retire the leadoff man in the home half of the fifth. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop-up to start the inning. And you'll take that every time. Chase Utley will get another shot, hit by a pitch his last time. Here's the first offering. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. High strikes, probably no secret got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. Here comes the 1-1. And here's a pitch swung on and missed 1-2 and two now. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. Here's a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now the 2-2 pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Now the payoff pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And he's just going to make him throw as many pitches as he can as he fouls another one away, and it's still folded three and two. And oh, dear, that caught him full bore on the mound as it ricochets back toward the plate. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. Well, show motion's going to give us another look at this ball coming back at him, man. Oh, boy. You just don't have any time to react to something coming that quick. He's lucky he's all right. In now, Chase Darno. 
Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Here comes the 1-0. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And you know what, guys? I have been really impressed so far. Not only has he used his fastball well, but he's also spotted it well. I mean, that is perfect location right on the knees. Now the 1-1. One, one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Very patient here to start the at-bat. Maybe even a little too patient, because now he's down one and two. Yeah, and I don't think he's going to get anything better than that to hit. Here comes the one, two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Justin DeFreitas will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Justin Jonathan Lucroy will stride in as he'll be tasked with starting out things in the Brewers half of the sixth. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. And the pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Here it comes. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that is by him on into center field. So good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. Wow. You've got the guy in the hole, 0 and 2. He's forced to protect the outer edges, but he doesn't have to worry about protecting against a pitch like this. Look where it is. That's a big mistake in location there leading off an inning. Chris Davis. We'll stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. He's gonna go. First pitch to him. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Okay, Pause. Now the pitch. Now the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to left field. Hall will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting, the first baseman, Adam Lind. Adam Lind will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And here's the first pitch. Runner goes for second. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. And that's in there. Base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Boy, and here you can't get angry at a hitter for hitting the ball too hard. But I think because this got to the outfield grass in such a hurry, that runner from first had to put on the brakes or the hit and run could have backfired at third base. Here's Aramis Ramirez as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. The 1 0 pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will make the catch back there as they're a step closer to getting out of this with two away now. now that'll be a frustrating at bat for him. Now he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know, that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. Gerardo Parra will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Now the first pitch. In there, no balls and a strike.
He's set. Now the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. Oh, look at this. And from his knees, he got him. Boy, all arm there as the side is retired. Brewers strand a couple, and it's still 3-1. to one. Ryan Howard will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, 4, 5, and 6, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this is foul for the first strike. And now pitch on the way. Ramirez with it at third. And booted down there by Ramirez. And he'll reach first safely. The third baseman. Number 29, Adrian Beltre. Adrian Beltre will dig in. He singled his last time around. Here's the first pitch to him. And, oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. He's set. Now the pitch. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Ready now on one and one. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a two-run homer for Adrian Beltre. Eighth home run of the season for him. And the Phillies have pulled even now with 3-3. Sometimes, as a pitcher, you just have to challenge guys up in the zone. The only thing is, it just can't be over the middle of the plate. Here he got the fastball up all right, but he didn't get it in. I saw the arm extension there, and this ball gets hit a long, long way. Now here comes Brewers manager Ron Renicki out of the Milwaukee dugout. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Jim Henderson. Take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez, as he swings at the first pitch and lifts a fly ball out to left field. Davis is in his tracks now, one gone. Michael Franco will stand in base on balls his last time. First pitch coming. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Yeah, that's a good spot to miss against a guy like this. He loves that pitch up in the zone. Most power hitters do, so that's not a bad idea to give him one above the letters. The 1-0 home. That's inside. 2-0. He's showing pretty good patience here for a rookie. Those were two tough takes, but he's got it to 2-0. and Hits are even at seven apiece. Here comes the 2-0. Three and 0 now. Xavier Paul, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Now the three and 0 offering, and he misses ball four. 
saying, give me a break. I mean, that pitch is right there. Yeah, I tell you, though, complaining like that is only going to squeeze that strike zone a little more. Xavier Paul will dig in. Took a cold third strike his last time. Here's the first offering. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. And you figure now this would be a spot where that man might try to take second base. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to hold the ball a little longer out there on the mound. Really vary your time to the plate. You can't be predictable out there or he'll take advantage. 1-0 on the way. And there he goes towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. And here in the middle part of this ball game, he's wanting to give his guys the lead. So he picks a good pitch to run on, and he's in the second now as the possible go-ahead run. Let's go, Perry. The 1-1 home. High and wide. Two balls and a strike. Let's go, Perry. Here comes the 2 1. 2 1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike, too. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Now, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. Come on, Kelly. 2 2 pitch on the way. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the bases. Dominic Brown will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and oh. And that fastball his definitely catches your attention, especially when it's on the inner half. The one back into the seats out of play. Now the one and one pitch. Fastball called strike one and two. Three runs, seven hits, and two errors so far on the Philadelphia line score. Here comes a 1-2. That's hard hit back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Around third and being waved on home, and that's going to break our tie as the runner scores from second to make it a 4-3 ball game. That's a great example of one teammate picking up another there. After the guy before him struck out, couldn't drive the run in, gets him off the hook here by knocking in the run with two away. Ben Revere will stand in, and they've done a good job keeping him off base at the top of the lineup. He's 0 for 3 thus far. Now the first pitch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball 1, 1-0. One and, and he's got to be careful now that some of these borderline calls don't get him started going downhill. Yeah, and sometimes it's really easy to dwell on those, but you have to keep looking forward. It's not easy, but you've got to do it if you want to have success. 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. I think he's letting this situation get the better of him out there. But you have to have a short memory if you're a relief pitcher. You can't dwell on what just happened. 2-0 well count, the pitch. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. In danger now of a second walk out of the bullpen. Not exactly providing relief. He's got to find it here somehow. Here comes the three zero. -oh. That one's in there. Three and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and Good 
Three runs already home here. That's right. Wait for your pitch. Here he comes on 3-1. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, you know he wanted that one. Now the inning will continue. And the guy moves up into scoring position here. Chase Utley will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. Come on, Let's go now. First pitch coming. Here we go. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, pitchers have the right to work inside. Utley awaits the 1-0. That's wide, 2-0. And, oh. and now at the plate with a 2-0 and oh count, it's not just, hey, this has to be a strike. You've got to look for one pitch in one location and then let it rip. Here comes the 2-0. Oh. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. That might take the anxiety away for the moment, but he's going to need a couple more here to prove to himself that he's not losing it. Two men are on with two men out. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. A two-out hit here would be nice, but a two-out walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. The 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a miss much too early, and that makes it a full count. Here's the payoff pitch. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Now the three and two pitch. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. He's not going to hurt himself at any point. The control just hasn't been there. You know, that's mission number one for First pitch on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. From the stretch. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Uh, he's still got to make one more big pitch, but this is a great start with the bases loaded. He waits, now the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Eight, nine, and top of the order coming up to start the seventh. It's now four at three, Phillies. Seventh inning, Phillies with a four to three lead here. Balls and one strike. Gomez in the ball game. No, that's a ball. One and one. Sardinas up at bat here in the seventh. Adrian Beltre's homers again is a ground ball foul. Beltre has hit the long ball now three times in two games, so he has really been on a tear here. Two balls and two strikes. Round ball to Utley, fires over the first, and there's one out here in the seventh. Matt Clark will be the pinch hitter for Aaron the 
seventh inning as the Phillies look to hang on to a 4-3 lead here. One ball and no strikes. Matt Clark batting at 222 with two home runs. Balls hit foul. Well, Martin pitched five innings. Giving up three runs. Two balls, one straight. Oh, Gave up the two run homer and then the RBI single. Other than that, he has pitched, pitched well for five innings. Now the, the Phillies bullpen to preserve the lead. Three balls and one strike to Clark. count. Hit in the right field. That's a base hit. And Clark is a one-out base runner. And Ken Giles will come into the game. And here's Scooter Jeanette. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 53, Ken Jeanette, and Jeanette hits a ground ball. Franco throws over the second for one, back to first. And just like that, the Brewers are retired. It is stretch time in Philadelphia. A nice double play turn by Mikel Franco. Phillies lead it four to three. And Tyler Thornburg into the game. Thornburg is 0-2 in 11 games. Here's Ryan Howard. He's singled in the last inning. A ball and no strikes. He put the shift on Howard in the bottom of the six. Breaks his bat, and they might do it again. Is it? No, they call it a foul ball. They play that shift, so there's nobody guarding that third base side because they play the shift. Back through the middle. That would have been a base hit, but they played the shift. Down they throw the ball away. It goes into the Phillies' dugout. So Howard will go to second. Sardinas just overthrew the ball. And I'll bring up Adria Beltre, who homered and singled. He is three for three. He continues to tear the Brewers up in this series. Bounced up there. One ball and no strike. Two and zero. Three balls and no strikes. Salvador Perez waits on deck. That over three and one. Full count now. Beltre has took five straight pitches.
It's this one on the ground. Howard will advance to third. Bring up Salvador Perez. One out. Perez, one for three. He singled in the second inning. A leading RBI man for the Phillies. Looking to knock one in here. And he does. Base hit in the center field. Howard comes in to score. Perez, another RBI. When it matters, it is now 5-3 Phillies here in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, and Perez comes up and that you know for sure that chances are he's going to knock in the runs, and he does it there. And gives the Phillies some assurance here in the bottom half of the seventh. Here's Mikel Franco, it's one ball and no strikes. That's 55 RBIs for Perez this season. All in one strike. Two balls and two strikes. And Franco strikes out. Xavier Paul. Paul takes a strike. One ball and one strike. strikes. Through the middle, base hit in the center field. Perez stops at second base. Xavier Paul again. This one bounces off the mound. The Phillies have been hitting the baseball well in this series. They'll get a new pitcher in for the Brewers. Here's Chris Perez, 37 games, 0-1. With a 5.09 ERA. 40 innings, 11 walks, 31 strikeouts. Your attention, please. And chilling for the Phillies, number 18, Darren Ruff. Darren Ruff will be the pinch hitter. 
Brandon Kinsler now in the Brewers bullpen is two outs. And one strike. Ground ball. The Sardinas will throw on a second for the force. And that'll end the inning. Phillies do get an insurance run. They leave two. We go to the bottom. We go to the eighth. Five three. Phillies. Jake Diekman, now the new Phillies pitcher. 3-0, three, three saves, a 1.37 ERA, 15 walks, 41 strikeouts, 42 and two-thirds of an inning. Balls and two strikes. Strike out here. Got him. One down there in the eighth. And a bring up Jonathan Lucroy. Here's Chris Davis. He homered and Davis fouls it. No balls and one strike. One and one. One and two to count now. Two and two. Davis, another hit. He's been on fire in this series. Chris Davis is a two-out base runner. And bring up Adam Lynn. Well, the Phillies just haven't found an answer for Davis in this game. And they'll bring him down to Papelbon. So it'll be a four-out save here. 
Pavel Bond has a 5.03 RA, 12 walks, 23 strikeouts, 34 innings, 1 and 2 in 34 games. He does have 22 saves. Here's Adam Lynn. He's 2 for 3. He has 2 singles. Marlon, no strikes. You see the hits, the Brewers with nine, the Phillies with ten. One ball and one strike. On the Howard, they'll step on first, and that'll retire the Brewers here in the eighth. They get a hit, they leave one on. We go to the bottom of the eighth, Phillies lead it five to three. It's Ben Rivera, he's 0 for three. The ball and no strike. Two balls and no strikes now. Try to bunt. Two and one. Two and two. Him out. Oh, no. It's Chase Sutton. Oh, no. I'm all in no strike. Brandon Kinsler will come in to pitch. He's 5 and 0 at 2.68 ERA. 13 walks and 32 strikeouts. He's pitched 43 and two thirds innings. He is undefeated. His chase going on. That has not had a hit in this game. strike. Phillies trying to break a four game skid here. And this will be a perfect opportunity to break the losing streak. A ball of one strike. One 
Ball and two. Bring up Ryan Howard. Howard does have a single. Howard on the first base. Step on the bag as Adam Lynn, and that will take care of the Phillies in the bottom of the eighth. We go to the ninth. Phillies trying to hang on to a 5 3 lead. Here's Aramis Ramirez. He's over three. Pavelbon. Trying to complete a four out save here. And ball and no strike. to Howard. He'll step on the bag at first. One down here in the ninth. Here's Gerardo Parra. He's over three. Don't forget tomorrow's night game starts at 6.35. The special start time here. Balls hit foul, no balls and one strike. Here we go. Balls hammered to left, Xavier Paul, two outs. Sardinus will bet. Two outs here in the night. Applebaum trying to close the game. One ball and no strikes. What a win would this be for the Phillies as the Phillies had a three run six inning. He hits that one foul. Adrian Beltre hits his eighth home run of the season. The cap off the lead. And the Phillies added one here in the center thing. Fly ball center field should be the ball game. Ben Rivera puts it away. And the Phillies win it by the score of 5-3. to three. 
Justin DeFreitas will pick up the win. Aiden Martin pitch well. Adrian Beltre tied the game in the sixth. With a two-run home run. He's been on a tear as of late. Moore is not pleased. Jonathan Papelbon picks up his 23rd save as the Phillies beat the Brewers by the score of 5-3. to three. The win goes to Justin Bepraid as he is 1-2. Chris Davis homer for the Brewers. Belfred homer for the Phillies. Player of the game is Adrian Beltre. He hit for two runs, two RBIs. He is the player of the game. Final score: The Phillies beat the Brewers five to three. Start time for tomorrow's game is at 6:30. Only on the Video Game Network. Talk to you then.